Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Side Words. I'm going to open this video up by just apologizing. You may have heard from other videos, uh, I'm a little bit under the weather right now, but my voice feels pretty good. A occasionally I do sound like I'm dying, but I feel good and I, I knew that I would now. Um, but we're going to try to put that aside as we do a Let's Look at a game that I uh, found independently as a result of my, you know, relatively minor illness here. Uh, I was going through Steam and I was like, I need something to play, I want something kind of casual, you know, I don't want to get really involved in something that's super complex right now, I just want something that I can kind of sit, relax, meditate more or less, and, and play a video game, and I, I have to be honest with you, I'm kind of a dork when it comes to word games. Uh, if you see me play other games, I'm not much of a visual puzzle guy, uh, i.e. the witness, I'm not much of a, that's not really fair to call it visual puzzles, but it, that's a little obtuse for my taste, I guess. Um, and I'm not much of a physics puzzle guy, however, word puzzles I just get, like, I like crossword puzzles, I like Scrabble, I like Boggle, I like this board game we played a bunch of packs called Paperback, so side words kind of hit me at a, um, at the right time in my life, and I also, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw it on Steam, first off, it's five bucks, so I was like, relatively low cost of investment here. Secondly, it had no even Steam reviews, and that's almost like a dare for me at this point, is to be the first person to venture out and be like, okay, how is Sidewords? Well, the big negative is no music, but apart from that, I've had a good time, and the no music thing is coming in hot because you can hear perhaps my phlegmy pharynx more than usual, but as someone who likes word games, this has been a nice casual experience that there's no chance I'll ever finish because there's just so many puzzles in the game, but a good way to uh, to spend some time, nonetheless. Kind of like a, a Sunday morning crossword puzzle sort of thing. So a good way to think about uh, side words as we get into the game here is that it's a little bit like Boggle or Scrabble meets Sudoku. So, you know, in, in Boggle, you have a, a 4x4 game board or a 5x5 game board of letters, and you go through the letters and you try to spell words with the highest number of letters, and then you add them up and you see who wins. Um, this is very similar, and we'll start by, like, doing one of these 4x3 puzzles, like this one right here, and I'll just clear it up. Um, and, and you'll see why, because we have, like, I mean, in a 3x4 puzzle, we have seven letter tiles that we have to use to spell. However, it's not about getting the longest word, it's about filling up the space on the board. How do we fill up the space on the board? Well, we, uh, well, I'll just show you right now, actually. It happens whenever you get an intersection of letters from the top row and the, uh, the left side column. So, for example, I see that we have ante. A-N-T-E. This uses all of the words on the top column, sorry, the top row, and one of the letters in the left column, and as a result, it fills up the spaces that intersect between those. Um, similarly, you can see we have like gate. Um, and then I'm looking at E-T-A-L-O and I'm like, what, what can we get out of that? Well, we could definitely get like tail. And then what what are we going to do with O-A-T-E? And this is kind of where the, the cool part of the, uh, of the game comes in from my perspective is it's not just, you might look at this and say, oh, it's very easy, I just have to make four words, or I just have to make three words even, depending on how things get structured, but there actually is a little bit of um, strategy involved in, in placement, and it, it's like half strategy and half can I think of a word that actually fits with these letters, if you'll excuse me for a moment. I don't want to subject you to my, uh, my viral cough right now. Either way, though, let's think about how we can do this. So we could do, um, the O is like the tricky letter here. We could do, like, oats and get that placed. And then maybe, like, allo. That's, okay, get rid of oat. Because we can never have a, I, I should put that back up there. Because it, it illustrates something important here. And that's that you can never use, and this is why, like, the, the space of the board is actually a limited resource that's important and makes this a little bit more well-designed than just make the longest letter, or longest word that you can out of these letters. Um, we cannot make allo because it uses the O and the A that already intersect to make oat earlier. But this word, I think, is a little bit uh, better. Covers more space, so we'll get rid of that. And then we'll use lot, which will fill up that side of the board, and then we have G-A-N-T, I don't think we can make Gantt chart, but we can make like Tang, and we have E-N-G, maybe Jen is a word, and we'll get lucky, sweet, okay, so that's a pretty rudimentary puzzle, 
you can see like it, it stores all your earlier solutions so you can see that um generally speaking the easiest way to cover as much space as possible is to use as many letters as possible but sometimes that's going to be uh not the ideal example and i don't know if i can find or I, ideal solution i should say and i'm not sure if i can actually find one that works like that but let, let's see if we can manufacture it uh, on the fly let's do like an easier puzzle here let's let's go back to like a four by four maybe and we'll do uh deer sh deer hens so in this one um it might be possible like you might be able to make a word let's say sheer and you're like that's pretty good however one of the things that's worth considering and it doesn't come up until you play it a little bit more at least in my very limited experience is uh maybe we don't want to use the s and the h that are on opposite sides from one another because then it very much limits us with respect to the middle letters so sometimes i, I i'm not sure if this is necessarily fair but i think that there is a case to be made for trying to make letters uh trying to make words out of letters that are close together so i mean sheer is good but it creates this weird kind of awkward area here maybe we want to do like sneer instead which actually does exactly the same thing <laughs> so again we're doing it on the fly here what about needs yeah look at that needs is a five letter word but it covers a little bit more of a contiguous space and then we can do like herd and then we have S-N-E-A-R, and we could do nears and solve that problem. So yeah, there is almost like a, another reason that the game kind of appeals to me, and I'm not saying this is a 10 out of 10 must-buy game, but certainly something that uh, I, I play it on PC and I go to myself, well, this should be on the telephone. Apparently I'm 100 because I call it a telephone, but this, this should be on mobile. I would definitely play this on the bus or the subway. Um, a little bit of a harder sell maybe on PC, but uh, if you're into this sort of thing, I think that it, it does do a little brain tickling but what well, another reason I, I like it is that there's almost like an algorithmic approach that you can take to it not just to be like you know dae i've taken one computer science class but like you 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 have a little process that you go through and it, it's almost recursive like you you solve one big word and the space shrinks and then you solve a word that's a little smaller and the space shrinks even more and then eventually you get to the point where you just have one like three letter word you have to make or you could do what we've done on um one of these and you could just make one seven letter word or it would you i mean you could make a you know a 12 letter word if you have a six by six puzzle i'm not sure i'm doing a great job explaining it but i think i'm not going to say all but i think a lot of these have a, a solution that is more elegant and essentially in a six by six puzzle if you can make a 12 letter word that uses all of the letters you solve the puzzle immediately but i haven't tried to spend too much time making that happen because i think it's uh a little cost prohibitive so let's go back and, and check out some of this other stuff here so one of the things i've not checked out but i think we should is the dailies here so we get two puzzles here daily i don't know if there's a score or if it's just designed to be um extra content that gets uh like given out every single day and in a way i think it's actually quite nice especially if there's some kind of leaderboard aspect going along with it um because it's uh this does seem like the kind of thing where you don't want to sit down and play like two hours at once. You'd rather play like 15 minutes a day every day before work or on your lunch break or something like that. So let's look at this. I'm just going to speak out loud because I think that it might be uh, the best way to approach this. So I see like tokens, toked, stoked. It's like a pretty good word, but it leaves us with some awkward space which means that it might not be the best by the way you might say like oh i see nets remember it has to uh hit across with some of the other letters so we can't just do that <clears throat> pardon me i feel like there might be like a something with the k here that i'm not seeing i also find when i play these games it's, it's like a weird insight into my own cognitive ability like sometimes i just look at the letters and in my head i'm like i get it some letters I cannot do that with, and K is one of them for whatever reason. But if I get like, like a lot of S's, M's, R, T, N, it's, it's like Wheel of Fortune built up skill or something there. Um, I mean, we could do some easy stuff like pokes, just fills up a row. I th and then I think like let's try pokes and then like dents, and then we've got like token again. But I don't kind of I don't really like that one. We could do token, might be a little better. And then we have teen, 
and Pent. So this one actually works. Now, although I finished this puzzle, I'm not necessarily pleased with the results. I don't think it's necessarily bad, but at the same time, I'm like, that took a lot of words. I do, I, I sort of wish there was almost like a leaderboard system that was like, who had the fewest number of words to make this happen? Now, of course, you could always game the leaderboard system by just putting the letters into like a Scrabble word solving app, but um, who, who are you trying to impress at that point? I also don't know how much of this is procedurally generated and how much of this is actually uh, developer curated. So, for example, this, I was trying to look at it and I see like, insulate does not work insula is a word which i did not know um but i don't know like for example <coughs> again pardon me if uh this has an 11 letter word that can be solved here it's possible but i'm not fully convinced but i see some like we don't have another, oh, there's the H. Like, faiths? And when in doubt, I kind of think that one of the best ways to approach it is, uh, to just try to solve, like, a row or a column at a time and work from there. Sometimes having <clears throat> restrictions seems to make things easier. Now, this is where we get tough, because we have one vowel and five consonants. So I actually think that we need to cut these words. Unless you can think of something to make with S-H-A-F-T-N, Shaftin, Thanfs, something like that seems like the best option. So maybe this time we'll try to solve like column instead. We can make like insults and then hinsults, <laughs> like uh, shin, and then maybe we need to solve something that's like six letters, T L U H A. I mean, we could easily make halt. Oh, you know what we can make? Fault. Then we, we still have that H there, and with H-U-L-T, we need to make a four-letter word, which I don't think is possible. And this is why I think that this game is kind of uniquely designed. I'm not going to say it's the best word game ever made or anything like that, but it does exercise a different part of your brain than Boggle, for example. Because you're not literally just gunning for the biggest word. There's other restrictions that force you to think around it as well, which are kind of neat. Um, so I'm trying to think of how we can do this. We might want to cut insult. Luscious is not a word. I know luscious is spelled differently, but I thought, you know, multiple lushes. Hmm. What about... No, we only have one H. We can't make shush. What about faults? See, that seems like a pretty good one to me. And, like, taunt? Well, that completely destroys tunnels. That's not what I meant to do. And again, that might be worse. It might be better. ULT. Ah, whatever. Let's go back with faults. By the way, this is what the rest of the video is going to be, is you slowly losing faith in my, my ability to reason with the English language. Um, but again, it's just because it looks difficult right now. What we got to do is, is is very modular, you know? We have to look at this and say, obviously this game board is too large right now. The only thing that we can do is slowly uh, maneuver it down to a smaller size. So what if we did like... Let's go back with Shin. I almost like that more than Shins, because then we're not stuck with Schult, which I don't believe is a word. Um, but if we don't make Shins, then we got Sleuth, which... Is, has an E in it. I don't think we can just do S-U-L-T-H. Or HALTS. See, that's why I think, like, we gotta go, like, this way instead. So let's try it like this. And keep your language PG-13, please. My little brother's watching. Like, we don't want to do it that way. We want to get rid of this U, because the U sucks. So anything we can make with the U... Like, I know I keep making FALTS. But there's another way to structure it here. We could do it like that. And then we have to make... Tass, which I thought was a character in StarCraft. But apparently I'm pretty lucky here. We still have H-U-L-T-S. <coughs> 
And we pretty much have to make a word out of that. Okay, sometimes, you know, it just pays to even go back to the other screen and then go look at this. Insult shaft. You're insulting the, my shaft right now by not letting me solve this problem. And I'm not referring to anything dirty. It's the, the shaft of gray matter that makes up my brainstem. Um, what about... I was actually going to make fatten, which I don't think is a word. What about satin? I just can't. My brain is like, I do not want to use this U for anything. So let's let's get dangerous. Tush. Ooh, you can't say that on YouTube. Um, never realize how hard life is when you don't have an E, right? What about satin? And we have just got a, all sorts of jacked up words here. Um, we can make thin to fill up this slot. And then probably fin is fine for this. We could even do fins. But the S is pretty versatile. Don't, and look, okay? I'm not happy that I had to make this word, but so be it. The tough part right now is this L and this H. We can get rid of both of those with halt. Then we gotta fit stuff in here. Taft, probably not a word. Obviously fat is a word. But then we have T and T to make one word from, which is not possible. I think we might be screwed here. And this is where like my own hubris has gotten the better of me. Like, I thought... Especially the first couple of times that I played this, uh, on like the 3x3 three three puzzles, I thought I was a genius. The fact that I uh, was doing the easy puzzles was lost on me, and especially when you go back here and you look, um, I, I just really want to get that sun earned by completing the daily, I assume. Um, when you go and you're like, okay, in the appetizers, I've done 5x4 puzzles. Each of those probably took me like a minute and a half, two minutes. But then there's, uh, you know, big puzzles that are 6x7, like, these are not going to be easy. This really does remind me more of the scope of a of a, uh, a Sudoku puzzle or something like that. So let's try to do yesterday's puzzles. Maybe we'll be luckier here. And sometimes it just helps to take some time off from a puzzle. Then you go back and you'll feel better about it. What if we do, like, plier? Ooh, you know what? Planer. Can we even do that plain... Plain, that's a good one. And then Arf. <laughs> Probably Far, actually. Oh, but no, 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 we can't. Because the F still can't be used. So let's let's try something a little smaller again. This is why um, it can benefit you. Why do I keep making Plyan? It can benefit you to... Uh, Uh, make smaller words actually so I'm just trying to get them to be more contiguous like this but I want to I want to slice them by a different cross section so get that out of here <laughs> at this point I'm like if you're still watching the video I apologize but you're, you're witnessing a man's slow descent into madness it's always these games that I like but require a lot of thinking that end up making these weird videos uh, where people start to ask is is NL okay he's uh, exhibiting the same symptoms my uncle exhibited uh, so, I mean, linear is a very impressive word, but unfortunately, again, it, it doesn't really do what we want it to do. Well, let's try, like, leaf. I want to get this F out of here as much as possible. And then... You gotta use this N. I think I have lost my brain. Like, I almost see it, if it even exists. What if we did fear? But then we got this F and N combo that I hate. Like, Finn is okay. Oh, and then learn. And then pair, but that's not going to be good. We really got to fit, like, all these letters in here. Is ARPIN a word? Arpin is a... Look, this is cheating, 
but I accept it. And I accept it because uh, we can't make this work anyway. Maybe Perrin. Like, I know that we already have Arpin, but it feels like it's against the spirit of the game. No, okay. So, I mean, I of course, you out there in, in YouTube land, you might not have known that Arpin is a word, but I am some kind of literary genius without even realizing it. Just kidding. I refuse to be beaten by this game. Let's make it happen. For Okay, first off, wait, here's what you do. It's, it's word debugging. Go back. Appetizer. 4x3 puzzle. Late set. We're going to do something a little easier to get your confidence up. Least. Great job. Then we got T-E-S-E. -E. Obviously, seat. <laughs> then we got T-L-A-T-E. Ladle. Ladle. I think I've broken my brain. If we try like tails. We still got S E E T. It doesn't work. You could do Tate, as in the you know the Tate Modern, or as in boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Eats obviously, but if, are we really? We got out of bed this morning, despite being sick. We said, let's make a YouTube video so we can make eats in a game about words. I don't think so. That wasn't my intention, at least. Teat. Teat is a word. Okay, make me go French then. Tet. And then eat. Look at that. We're geniuses again. Okay. Let's go uh, used rag. Get out of here. Sugar and grade. We don't need that. Let's, let's make something better. Although now all I see is sugar and grade. So you know what? See you later. Let's try a quick 5x5 uh, five five I haven't done yet. We got deals and we got clothes. Which means at the end of this, I think there's coffee for us. Sealed. One row done. No, let's do it. Try seal. <laughs> Seals. I think we're going to get a lot of value out of that uh, S-E-A-L there. About D O S. Dos is a word. Okay, close that part off. We got CeeLo. And not of the green variety. Shoal. We don't have an H. Why go for Shoal? You can go for like a lose. And then we got to use this A. Try to get this A out of the situation. What about Ales? No, because it needs to use the O as well. So it needs to be O-A or A-O. O-A-A-O-A-A-O-O-O-A-A. -A -A -A. Don't at me. It's not quite good enough. So we need O-A. And then we can actually only use... Oh, dude! Look at that. Okay, now we just got to get two four-letter words. <laughs> one of which is Delk. The other one is... We have one vowel to make a bunch of uh, four-letter words here. This is a, this is a tough one. Um, you got to do like Sleld. Obviously, that's a good one. And I imagine, like, you're probably at home and you're like, I have the word. But I also think it's surprisingly hard to backseat. Because, like, I see a lot of words as well. Um, but they have to fit the parameters. Like, these have to either be a, a column. Or, sorry, they have to be a 2x2 two two block or a row at this point. Otherwise, we can't fill them in. Although, I guess we could do, um... Eld is a word. Lucky us. But then, how are we going to make, like, an SLCL word to fill this space, right? So I think we've we've kind of screwed ourselves. Trial and error. That's okay. Forget sealed. You know what? Let's do it this way instead. Closed. Closes. E-close, which is when you close a deal online. <laughs> it worked. Um, 
a close. Doesn't work. That's fine. Lalk, still not a great word. We need to figure out something to do with these L's and C's. Oh, no kidding. We can make soul. But honestly, these like super short words, I think, just make it tougher for us. But I could be wrong. Well, what are words you make with it? All I can think of is like talc with C-L. C-L-R. It's in the game. This is Canadian heritage coming back to me. Um, you know what? Let's try this. Laces. And then we have Lola. I'm not the world. Oh. Okay. Let's try it. Lace. Lack is a word. And then we got solo. It's like solar, but with it being misspelled. Or we could do los. Losla. I mean, we could do alsos. As in, like, multiple alsos. No, we can't. We can do also. And then we got lol. Oh! Oh! He's done it. Okay. So if I was a smarter man, I would probably stop there because it ends on a good note. But I really don't feel right about leaving these dailies behind. So let's finally try to solve this problem here. Like, we know Arpin's a word, but don't don't abuse your trump card that easily, you know? So we got linear, we know, but then that forces us to do, like, farin, which I don't think is a word. Obviously, fear is a word, but fear n is not a word. And then we're going to try farin. It's kind of against the spirit of the game to just brute force it, I think, but... Oops. You can always do, like... No, you can't do urn. So get rid of linear. Let's try this again. What if, what if we do start small? Real. That's rail. My brain is a little broken. I apologize. Okay. I still kind of like plier, but it doesn't work. Um, does work. Not a dirty word either. I mean, learn seems like a good one, but it just leaves us with this weird, like, stranded F. Oh, okay, no, no, I, I, maybe let's try a different, like, approach here. What if we start with the hardest letter out? Do something like rife. And I, I have to think that four corners is probably, like, the worst conceivable approach we could take here, but I might be wrong. Then we can get rid of the F completely with fan. Okay, then we have learn. He is a god. However, our final word can be purr. Look at that! I told you, two in a row ain't bad. Okay, blame later. If we can solve this, I'm a very happy man. Um, so I see a couple of, like, okay words. Like, relate, relate with this E at the bottom covers that. Mater is probably a word. Being on the lamb. Can't do like breathe. You could do B rates. But it, it covers kind of a different subset. Barat is not a word. Um, and you can't make like B and then rat because the words have to be at least three letters long. And I understand at this point we're like half an hour in, probably not too many people watching that are like wondering what this game's about but yeah i mean the, the gist of this is i get lost in my own algorithmic you know minus realm is that i think that side words is pretty good i don't think it's 10 out of 10 it would be cool if it had some kind of online way to play against other people and some kind of competitive aspect that would keep me maybe going a little bit longer but either way i find myself enjoying it and i think for five bucks you could do a lot worse also some music would be nice but it kind of reminds me of mini metro it's like a puzzle game that's very uniquely designed and I think largely positively designed. And I think some people will get a kick out of it, myself included here. I have a fun time playing these, even though I, I get that I might be a weirdo. So we get tier taken there. We need like, the problem is we can't leave this letter stranded down here. We need to use this A. Oh no. 
Okay, get rid of that. No! What about Larb? What about Blart? As in, of the Paul variety? Labe? Like an Astrolabe? <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Leeb? Like, okay. Lee is a word, apparently. This board looks confusing to me right now. Yeah, because we can't leave this stranded. We gotta do it like this, actually. But then it's gonna get rid of that, and it's gonna put us... We're gonna have to make a, a word out of three letters with no vowels. I, I have faith in this. We can do this. B is probably a word. Oh, it's a name? What about Abe? What about Bay? Not in the dictionary yet. Okay. Time is, uh... Screwing me here. Let's go back to this. We can work with something here. Maybe we want to get rid of lamb as well. Get out of here, lamb. We could do like, uh... The M needs to be taken care of, which is why this is hard, but... And this L is the... It needs to use the M and the L. And then we could do like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is not any better. Because we did the same thing we just had Mater earlier. Okay, I'm getting lost in my own head here. What about Alm? Yo, yo Alm is a word. I've played Magic the Gathering. Alms of the Vein. Kind of like the idea of Teal. Because Mater handles all those ones. Blam is like, sure, even better. Oh, but it has to be with this L, that's right. Um, okay. Kind of got the same problem here. And we got to make one with Ba. B-A-A. -A. What if we did it like that? Oh. It still gets rid of Blam. What about Allah? No, that's not how that works. <laughs> what about ABBA? A-B-A? Yo, English is sick, dude! <coughs> we still have to make a word like Turb. I think we might be screwed. My voice is leaving me, if you'll excuse me a moment. Probably time to finish the video. This is Sidewords. Check it out on Steam. It's five bucks. It's cheap and it's fun if you're a dork like me and you like word games. I'm going to go drink a glass of water. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. I'm set a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Ugh.